Good resolutions. Gute Vorsätze. Do you also have good resolutions for the new year? Two third of people make good resolutions, but only 20% stick to them permanently. What are typical good resolutions in Germany? In 2023 it looked like this. In a representative survey by DAK the following hit list emerged. At the top of the list were less stress and more time for the family. Shortly after that came better environmental and climate friendly behavior and more sports. More time for yourself, a healthier diet and eating less meat all seems to go in the same direction. Statista found this out in a survey of 380 adult Germans for 2024. Saving money is at the top of the list, followed immediately by doing more sport and eating more healthily. What have you resolved to do? A little more sport would do me good again and I should probably lose a few pounds. It's so easy to say and it's actually quite simple. Just like other people want to eat healthier and do more sports, you can easily lose a few pounds. Just give up the sweets. But they taste so good. Of course, we've had a lot of sweets recently. It was Christmas after all. In fact, Christmas used to last 12 days and so the 12th day was a day of appearance of the Lord, Erscheinung des Herrn or Epiphany in church terms. This is 6th of January. Today the day is also known as Epiphany Day or Three Kings Day. The three wise men from the east are said to have set out to follow a star to find Jesus. Also, there are no real people who can be linked to the Magi, as they are called in the original Greek text. The three are honored as saints in the Catholic Church. Today the three kings are added to the nativity screens. In many Catholic countries and also in German states of Baden-Württemberg, Bavaria and Saxony-Anhalt, the day is a public holiday. In many federal states, the day is also the last day of the Christmas holidays. One of the three wise men is usually depicted as a black African, but it's not consistently stated which of the three it was. It is likely that in the early Middle Ages, the three kings represented the continents known at the time, Europe, Asia and Africa. Which is why one continent or one king was depicted as black. The whole world was therefore supposed to have traveled to the Savior to pay homage to him. As is often the case, such origins have been forgotten. Epiphany carol singing has also existed since the end of the Middle Ages. In Catholic regions, the custom can be traced back to the middle of the 16th century. While it was sometimes certain professional groups who were allowed to do carol singing, sometimes poor children also did it. The carol singing campaign in Germany has been in existence since 1959, when children from 100 Catholic parishes collected 90,000 Deutsche Mark for a good cause. In 2005, 12,743 parishes took part and in 2019 a record sum of over 50 million euros was collected. Each year there is a different project focus for the donations. In 2023 it was the eight projects in Indonesia. The children are often sent on their way in the sending out service and then go from house to house. Three children are the three kings and a star bearer then carry a sealed donation tin from the congregation. The residents often put a donation in the box and the carol singers are sometimes given a sweet treat to take with them similar to the way it is done in Anglican world at Halloween. In return the carol singers say a saying or sing a song and write a blessing on the front door with chalk or hand over a sticker. Christus mansionem benedicat, Christ bless this house. 
as with the nativity figures, a Moor was also depicted in the past by colouring the face of one of the children black. In the course of the discussion about black facing, the makeup of the coloured king also came under criticism. The Federation of German Catholic Youth and various archbishoprics called on people to come as they are and no longer wear makeup. In this way, a well-intentioned tradition of representing all three known continents of the world at that time and also adopting this representation for carol singing can suddenly fell into disrepute. Perhaps it would be a good idea to get to the bottom of the origin first and then think about how to deal with it. What could we do? The next time something is said and you think, isn't something wrong? Just ask, where did you get that from? One advantage of the World Wide Web is that you can look at any number of sources. The only problem is that you have to know whether you can trust the sources. If you find something that isn't quite right, please feel free to comment on it. If you want to do more sports, just start slowly. Take the stairs more often than the lift. <laughs> no problem in Germany, we don't have that many skyscrapers. So why bother? If you are looking for one, you should visit Frankfurt am Main, where most of them are. Then maybe take the bike instead of the car. It also gives you a completely different view of road traffic. And of course walking or hiking. The New Year's walk was of course a must. And if you can't do without your car, because you have to commute from the village to work in the city, you could ask your neighbor if they would like to carpool. You often drive at similar times and the commute allowance applies to the distance and not necessarily to your own vehicle. And if I want to eat in a more environmental friendly way, you don't have to replace milk with substitute drinks. How about mixing them to start with? The fatty consistency of the milk has that nice finish in the mouth that many substitute products lack. But if you mix them half and half, the finish is there and you've only used half the milk. If you make a cow, it tastes almost identical even with the substitute product. Do without meat? Honestly, and from my own experience, sausage products such as mortadella, meat sausage or meat salad taste the same with or without meat. And if you've seen how little meat there is in a typical meat salad, you'll know why the flavor of a meat-free salad remains the same even without meat. You can also add vegan or vegetarian mince to the mince. Try it in the Bolognese sauce next time. Just don't tell the others and see if they notice anything. And if you don't really want to change, you can simply go back in history and only eat the roast on Sundays. We are creatures of habit. If we change our taste slowly, we get used to it. It doesn't matter whether you do it because you don't want to harm the animals, whether you want to do it for the environmental or whether you simply want to live healthier. Maybe you can also manage to shop more consciously and end up throwing less away. I think I'd like to make a video on this too, as our waste management is often discussed. In 2020, Germany threw away over 11 million tons of food, 59% or 78 kg per person in the household. Cooked too much again or left what was cooked for too long and not eaten? Bought too much again and some of it went bad? Perhaps you forgot something in your stocks that had long since expired. And what if it's other things? Clothes, electrical appliances, furniture. Could they still be sold second hand or could they perhaps be donated as clothing? Can the appliance be repaired or should I buy an appliance that can be repaired next time? 
and definitely reusable instead of disposable. Let's make sure we all start 2024 with a life worth living and make the world a little better. Maybe with a subscription to this channel. Thank you for your attention and a happy and healthy new year.